So jumping onto New World today, you may have noticed another update or a patch for you to install on your system. That's because we had more downtime earlier today, people. And today we get into the highs and lows of it. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ. And to give back to you guys, I'm giving away 10,000 marks of fortune. To be in the chance of winning these, make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Last week's winner can be seen on screen now. If this is you, hit me up on my Discord link below. Okay, so earlier today we had another update. I mean, this is like downtime three times this week already i don't know what's going down but they're obviously trying to fix the many many issues that dropped with the 1.1 patch and today's no different they held downtime for approximately three hours now the game is back live but well it's come with a few things that are a bit sus for instance giving certain people upwards of 300,000 gold coins for utterly free today we get into the whole situation now the update dropped by the community manager states greetings adventurers we are holding another downtime which is the one we already had today guys so you ain't gotta worry about that uh, please see the list of fixes below fix an issue with the ritual quest causing players to become blocked from completion if their heart gem interactable is used before defeating Alistair we stood the harvested gear set back into the game speculative stability fixes which i can say i definitely feel the game is much less buggy for me now some coin reimbursements for particular issues they're going to say coin reimbursements given the recent time skipping issues players have been experiencing we are also rolling that coin reimbursements to companies and players potentially impacted by these issues Companies will have a one-time reimbursement for any war declarations made since our November 1.1 update. Companies who own territories will have a one-time reimbursement for any territory stations that were downgraded since our November 1.1 update. Players will have a one-time reimbursement for housing taxes paid since our November 1.1 update. Which is wild people because there are reports of many, many people, which we'll get into in a second, randomly getting 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000 gold coins out of the blue because of this. I mean, guys, if you're one of these people and you've had this much, get spending. I mean, it's not your fault if they want to reimburse you 200,000 gold coins. You better get your ass spending. Okay, so before we get into that, we'll talk about uh, another part of this update. Missing horticulture gear. In our latest update, we made a mistake that treated all tiers of the in-game horticulture harvesting gear as a future content and unintentionally removed them from the game. We apologize for this bug that has caused you to lose some items you rightly earned. If you have lost an acquired piece of harvester armor, you should have an extra rewards chest in your inventory after the patch which dropped today. The items will be delivered asynchronously from the patch, so there may be some time after the patch before the items propagate to you. We appreciate your patience through this issue, but rest assured, a new set of gear is on its way. These reward chests contain a full set of horticulturist armor provided at the highest tier you personally have acquired in the past for any piece of the harvesting set. They're also rolling out at maximum gear score for that tier and will be usable at any level to ensure you can equip them. These items are marked as bind on equip, like any harvester armor piece you would encounter normally. Once you open a chest, it will provide you five items. Harvester hat, shirt, gloves, pants, and shoes. And that is basically it for the actual, well, patch notes or update notes. But more so onto the people randomly getting tons of coins out of the blue now i noticed this through a reddit post and it sent me directly to a uh, official new world forums post which you'll see on screen now and you can see there's many many people here saying that they logged on after the latest update where people are receiving tons of gold the initial post says he a guy in his guild says he claims he received basically 50,000 gold for no reason now if we go down, we'll see there's many, many people here, including the actual editor saying that another friend got 200k. We go down, we see more people saying they received tons of gold after relogging in. Some people 200 plus, some people 300 plus, some people 400 plus. I mean, I don't know what's going down here, guys, but I got absolutely jacked. It'll be squat. But yes, the latest uh, update from Amazon Games for New World seemingly makes many, many people rich beyond belief. There will no doubt obviously drop another update or another post 
discussing why people are receiving so much gold and to be honest what i said about get on a spending spree i mean i take that back i really don't want them to put you into negative gold if they do take all this gold back that would be shocking so yeah probably sit on the money they've gave you for free until they address this issue but yeah guys another patch another update another crazy day in the world of new world and on that note the end of the video has arrived if you have logged back on today to see you've been rewarded tons of gold out of nowhere let me know how much down below if you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more new world be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one